I wish I could shake whatever th these things are going on in my head. Well, don't you let anything hold you back. result of the medication and once the surgery is over no i think we need to postpone the surgery no honey no 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 you can't do that no, no, but mom no there are all these 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 things swirling around in my head right well, now you just push them all away i'm not sure i have the strength to do that right now can, can you talk to my doctor please just tell griffin i i need more time no what you need is to remember who you are and all you have survived, you are Kendall Hart Slater. Now you shout that to whatever's swirling around in your beautiful little head. And you just drown out all of that with your confidence. Hey, 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 this would be not so fresh. Out of the oven. All right. For you. Uh huh. Yes. My pre-surgery carbo fix. Of course. You remembered. You think I'd ever forget? Nice. Yeah. Wow. You don't need to kill it, brother. Okay? Didn't do anything to you. I know. All right. Look. It's gonna be fine. Okay? I know. You make the incision, you clamp the aorta. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the nuts and bolts. I'm talking about Kendall. Kendall's a patient with a yes, plumbing problem. Yes, she is a patient. But this patient's case is one that you've spent a lot of time on. Can we admit that? I can admit that this is really good pasta. <laughs> Would you please calm down? No. No, I am not going to let you make me look like the bad guy again. Okay, um, Adams, let me and Daddy just gotta talk for a second, okay? We gotta figure something out. Get back, okay? What is wrong with you? Me? I am not the one dropping all of my responsibilities to go take care of some sick friend. I'm asking you to switch nights. Why is that such a huge problem? It's none of your business, Ryan. Let me guess, JR. Well, I'm really sorry if Kendall's emergency surgery is getting in the way of your date night, Ryan. Okay, just, I just have a lot riding on tonight, okay? Ryan, please. What do you mean riding on to? You're acting like there's some kind of deadline here. Any, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing's going on. I, look, I know I've been a mess lately, but every after tonight, everything's going to be better, okay? Uh, and I'll spend more time with Emma. Just just please. Just please. It's important. I'll take care of her after this. Just hey. please. Hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? It's going to work out. It's going to work out. We're going to hang out together after all, okay? Okay. Okay. Ready to go? Yeah. All right. Got this. Don't get your bag. Take care of yourself. Come on. Bye, sweetie. I love you. Me You'll see, Emma. You'll see. After tonight, we're going to have a whole new fresh start. I remember the first time that I came here, I had never seen anything like it. It just kept going. There were so many rooms and so many things. I fell in love with it. And then I hated it. It felt big and cold and empty, just like a big show. Well, how about now? Well, so much has happened here. But this was our home. It's AJ's home. It's also the place where I was attacked and robbed. You know, I realize the police have closed that investigation. Uh -huh. I just... Not exactly. This is this not the police report? Well, after you uh, found the stolen things at the pawn shop, I gave them to one of the detectives to see if they could get any new leads. What did they find? It's just so hard. I know, honey, I know it is, but you can do it. You have your two beautiful little boys to live for. Of course, of course, Mom, I want to live. But every time I make progress, something just slams me just right back. And now there's this 
this thing with David? David is going to prison, and you are going to get well. That's all you need to know. Then why do I keep thinking about him? Why, why can't I get him out of my head? Shh. Just positive thoughts, honey. Just positive thoughts. I'm going to go see how your surgery's going. Miss Kane, is she prepared for the surgery? I wish I could say yes. Can't you get through to her? I'm the doctor here, not the hand holder. Then what can I do to get her ready for this operation that will guarantee she lives? Uh, there are no guarantees here. The aneurysm could burst during the surgery. No, 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 no. You can't let that happen. You have to promise me that you will I'm not let her die. I'm the best that there is. But I never make that promise. How's she doing? Her mind is on David, not the surgery. Did you... Say it to her. She wants to postpone the surgery. She wants to figure things out. But if she figures things out, she'll go into that operating room a total wreck. Your symptoms aren't going away, Kendall. There's this little voice in my head that keeps telling me that now is not the right time. Well, could you do me a favor? Just tell that voice to shut the hell up. You can't postpone your procedure. I love how you call it a procedure, like I'm, I'm getting my teeth cleaned or something. We both know how serious this is. Serious enough that I could die on the table. With me in the operating room, the odds are in your favor. That I can promise. I'm too tired to argue with you. I didn't know we were having an argument. Okay, Kendall. Well, if you won't talk to me, maybe I can talk to the little voice in your head. What's it saying to you that's making you so afraid? In fact, you know what? I am on it, and I'm going to have that pizza delivered. Okay. Yes. All right. Madison! All right, so the only fingerprints on the wallet and the bracelet were mine and the guy at the pawn shop. Right. That surprises you. Yeah, a little. I mean, you'd think whoever broke in here would have left some fingerprints somewhere. Uh, all that tells me is the guy wiped the prints before he pawned it. Yeah. And the pawnbroker backed your story? Wait a minute. My story? I'm sorry, I just... I'll be honest, I thought that maybe Annie had something to do with this. But I guess when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And that's one of the qualities I've always admired about you. I just wish some of it would have rubbed off on me. Oh, come on. You do have some good qualities. Oh, yeah? Where? I'm serious. You do. Or else I would never have fallen in love with you. Anyway, the important thing is that we stay on good terms for AJ. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me and AJ. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. Hey, you know Scott's inside. You want to say hi? Hey, yeah, I, I had no idea that, that you and Scott were, were uh, here. Um, well, we're uh, emergency babysitters. So, uh, how you doing? Um, yeah, I'm good. Good, good. Yeah, you? Can't complain. Yeah. You know, honestly, I just brought Emma here because I thought maybe Sandra could watch her for a couple hours. That, that was all, so... Go, I'll watch her. No, are you kidding me? You got the boys. I'm not going to overwhelm you. And we also got pizza, popcorn, and a movie, so please. Yes, of course Emma can stay. I miss her. You sure? Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. And I'll let you guys know how Kendall's doing. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. All right. Ems? Yeah? You can stay for the movie. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, uh... 
Thanks, guys. I, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, and let us know uh, about Kendall. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Bye! I wish I could tell you what you want to know. I wish I could open up my brain and let all these things come pouring out, but I, I can't reach them. I, I can't get to them. I can't cut it out with my scalpel either. It must be frustrating. It's too much. It's all too much. No, maybe for some people. Not for you. You don't know me. I know what I see and what I heard from Zach. Do you not know what you are? What I am? Maybe it's because I've been all over the world and seen so many different kinds of people. You're not like most people, Kelly. Well, clearly there's no good answer to that. I mean, it's a hell of a big burden to put on her just before surgery. If only I told her the truth in the beginning. Yeah. But you didn't. And you can't go back. Thank you so much for being here with me. I know we've had our problems lately. Let's just concentrate on getting Hayward in prison where he belongs and getting Kendall well. 